Taylor Swift's ex Joe Alwyn puts his chemistry on display with chicken shop dates Amelia Dimoldenberg. Joe Alwyn, whose six year relationship with Taylor Swift ended in 2023, chatted with chicken shop dates Amelia Dimoldenberg and proved their chemistry could move to an actual chicken shop. Sparks may be flying for Joe Alwyn. The 33 year old showed off his charm during a cheeky interview with chicken shop date host Amelia Dimoldenberg, known for her flirty conversations with celebs during GQ's Men of the Year event in London. As Joe approached Amelia in the November 27th TikTok, she began to sing, Hello, Joe, before quickly questioning why she was singing. But the Englishman, whose six-year relationship with Taylor Swift ended in 2023, was quick to assure her, saying, I liked it. Amelia went on to ask the kinds of kindness actor about his social habits, asking if he is a party person or a party pooper, to which he gave a pointed response. Well, you hope a party person, he quipped before later adding, you need balance. But aside from wondering if Joe is the best thing at this party, Amelia also got into some more academic topics. When asked about which piece of London architecture is his favorite, Joe, who stars in The Brutalist, an upcoming movie about an English architect, chose the Barbican, a performing arts center in the heart of the city. Oh good, I knew you'd say that, Amelia added cheekily. Classic. And as she shared that she would have chosen the same building, Joe noted the pair were kindred spirits. Whether the pair may transition their red carpet conversation into an actual chicken shop date remains to be seen. After all, Joe appears to be single following his breakup with Taylor. The favorite actor, who seemingly inspired a few of Taylor's breakup songs on her 2024 album The Tortured Poets Department, has noted that he prefers to keep his romantic life mostly private especially when it comes to his relationship with the karma singer. As everyone knows, we together, both of us, mutually, decided to keep the more private details of our relationship private, he told the Sunday Times in June. It was never something to call modify, and I see no reason to change that now. I would hope that anyone and everyone can empathize and understand the difficulties that come with the end of a long, loving, fully committed relationship of over six and a half years. That is a hard thing to navigate, he continued. I'm sure you can appreciate, given the level of noise and scrutiny about my past relationship, why I wouldn't want to just open the door to things like that right now. Read on to see all of Taylor's songs that are inspired by Joe. Exile. The first song Taylor Swift collaborated on with her former boyfriend Joe Alwyn, the ballad appears on 2020's Folklore as a duet with Bon Iver. At the time of the album's release, Joe was credited under the pseudonym William Bowery, though Taylor confirmed William and Joe were one and the same during her Disney Plus concert film, Folklore, The Long Pond Studio Sessions. Taylor revealed Joe had written the entire piano part, along with singing, I can see you stand in honey slash with his arms around your body slash Logan, but the joke's not funny at all. She went on to say the favorite actor was always just playing and making things up and kind of creating things, but the couple may have never worked together if it wasn't for the COVID-19 shutdown. I was like, hey, this could be really weird, and we could hate this, she explained, because we're in quarantine and there's nothing else going on. Could we just try to see what it's like if we write this song together? The result of their professional collaboration? Winning Album of the Year at the 2021 Grammys. We're so proud of Exile, Taylor gushed. All I have to do is dream up some lyrics and come up with some gut-wrenching, heart-shattering story to write with him. Evermore. For the title track off her ninth studio album, Taylor explained to Apple Music Zane Lowe that she and Joe worked together the same way they did on Exile, with Joe crafting the melody, Taylor writing the lyrics and Bon Iver once again serving as the male singing voice. In an interview with Rolling Stone, the song's co-producer Aaron Dessner said it was really important for Joe to play the piano part on Evermore as he wasn't able to on Exile due to recording issues. But this time, we could, Aaron said. I just think it's an important and special part of the story. All the girls you loved before. Just hours before Taylor kicked off the era's tour in Glendale, Arizona, on March 17th, the Grammy winner treated fans to four brand new songs, including All of the Girls You Loved Before. Originally intended for her 2019 album Lover, fans theorized that the track was about Joe. Taylor begins her pre-chorus by singing, Your past and mine are parallel lines slash stars all aligned and they intertwined. Those lyrics, Remy.